Channel FM, Tracy and the Big D. So, Big D, how many stations have you been to? Like, not radio stations, I'm like talking like... Train stations? Well, no, not Bus to... stations? <sighs> you know, I'm going to leave that up to the expert. Dale Duncan, please help me out. How, how many... are you? Oh, I don't know. I've had to put out... He's been a bit cheeky all night, Dale. I need some support. <laughs> I did see a sign the other day on a stationary store, but it was moving. <laughs> Don't laugh, it just encourages him. Oh, no. I'm how trying... are you, Big D? I'm good, Dale. How are you, mate? Congratulations on the success on the latest single. Thank you so much. I don't know, mate. I, I think the last 18 months have just been one hell of a ride. and Mate, I don't want to jump off any time soon. I'm blown away with the amount of uh, success that both albums have had. My last one, Back to the Bush, and particularly this one, What Country's All About. I'm just so glad that people like the music. I think there's probably a case, too, that people are coming to you now, Dale. They hear you, they hear your style. And so these are songs that, you know, in past years might have been done by a Slim Dusty or someone. And they're coming along with these great songs. Uh, My Dog, Nui Dat was one that you made your own. This one, of course, and Just Like Your Dad. Just great songs that are that are written and perfect for your style. I've been really, really lucky. And as you say, like it all started a couple of years ago from that the album Back to the Bush, where, you know, there was some... I, I did the right thing by getting some great songs from all the great songwriters, you know, over Australia. And, you know, these are the best of the best in, in that Bush ballad traditional style. Terry Bennett's and Keith Jamison and Graham Roger and Dean Parrott and easy to get the great songs from them. So all I had to do was go into this studio and and sing it with feeling and, and, and give it my all. Well, you've just released Station Mindaroo. That's doing quite well and it's sitting up there, up in our top tens in the Country Tracks Top 40 charts. Why choose Station Mindaroo to release now? My very first release was Just Like Your Dad and it was tossed up between that one and, and Station Mindaroo. I absolutely love the story of Station Mindaroo. It ended up being my second release from the from the album. You know, that song was written by Terry Bennett and a bloke by the name of Keith Lethbridge and they're from Western Australia. And the song is actually about Keith Lethbridge as a young man. He, he was about 20 and he lived in a place called Onslow down in Western Australia. And uh, in his town, he became friends with this young Aboriginal girl who was 16. And um, her father worked on Mindaroo Station. So every single day, Keith used to drive her 40 kilometres to Mindaroo Station and then back home. Uh, to see her father, who was the elder out at uh, Mindaroo Station. Could you imagine back in the 70s, it was looked down upon for you know any white person to have a relationship with an Aboriginal person. Keith ended up getting the sack from the council there, and they got run out of town. So they actually had to move about a thousand kilometres away. You know, they got married and they had a few, uh, about three or four children, I think. But at the time, of, after a couple of years, the young girl, you know, she just got homesick and it had been the first time she'd been away from her family and, and all her relatives. And so she missed them. So she packed up the kids and they went back home. And Keith stayed where he was and, you know, worked. And, you know, 18 years later, he's driving around and decided he was going to call in the Mindaroo station. And there was his 18-year-old son working at the station, still with uh, the grandfather there, Scotty, which is mentioned in the song. They ended up spending a beautiful day together and that rekindled their uh, relationship. But the sad thing was the young girl that was mentioned in the story, um, she would have been in her late 40s and passed away a couple of years ago. It made me sad, it did, because yeah. I've been singing this song so so often, and it's one of my favourite songs. I felt like I knew most of the characters, especially after meeting Keith. I thought, wow, mm. you know, it, it sort of really, really was a personal song for me. And then to hear that um, the young girl had passed away, yeah, it's a bit sad. Well, we're talking with Dale Duncan, and his newest single at the moment is Station Mindaroo. Dale, do you know, um, is Station Mindaroo, is that still operational? Yes, it is. Yeah, a, uh, I think it's a cattle and sheep station. And, and have you ever visited the town of Onslow? No, I haven't. Ah, I, there I, you go. It's I on have... your bucket list. The song is called Station Mindaroo. The album out is called What's What Country's All About. And what I would like you to do is uh, tomorrow or the next day or whatever, we're going to have a podcast up. And with our podcast, we like to do a little video flick. And, Dale, I was having a look through some of your photos today that we've made the video flick up with, and you make so many friends in the country music industry and the country music world, and I think that's what country's all about. So while you're having a little listen to the interview back again and having a listen to the song, check out all the people that have have influenced Dale or Dale has influenced them. 
happened through this video clip. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Dale, and we'll catch up with you again very shortly. In the meantime, we will play your song. Here he is, Dale Duncan and Station Mindaroo. Now I saw old Scotty Shadow in this lad I came to see With a little of his mother and a little more of me And he's smiling up the morning under sunny skies of blue And I thank the Lord for leading him back home to Mindaroo